Expensive home disasters you can avoid this winter, and here are the tips. Hey, this is Mike Walters with the Stern team at Keller Williams, and today I'm with um, a close business partner of ours, uh, Kurt Chester, owner of Grit Insurance. And we're gonna cover um, the major disasters that happen inside the home, specifically during winter, and how you guys can avoid them. Kirk, where do you want to begin here? Because we just talked about it in our team meeting today. Uh, Mike, I think there's something that needs to be pointed out. Most claims happen in the winter time, and so when someone is looking at what to prevent, they're preventing most of their claims by doing these few things. The biggest insurance claim we see in the winter for cost is a slip and fall. So simply salting your sidewalks, shoveling the sidewalks, making sure if you have guests coming over, that's the number one issue that we'll see. Liability claims, medical expenses add up quickly. We were talking earlier today about you know, sprinkler systems. It's getting into that you know, time to winterize those. So you know, what should we be doing now? So a couple things that I would do right now as winter sets on is may A, blow out your sprinkler lines, make sure they're winterized. If you have hose bibs, the hoses that are on the faucets itself, take those hoses off. If you have insulated covers, if you live in a higher elevation area like Park City, make sure you get those covered up. It will freeze and break in the winter, and when you turn them on in the spring, the water damage will be inside the home. Because we're in Utah and it's hot in the, in the summertime, most of us have um, either a swamp cooler or a you know, HVAC yeah, unit, an air, air conditioner. conditioner. So unit. what do we need to be doing there? So two things that I recommend you do. A, you still have to winterize a swamp cooler. So you'll go in and drain the water out of it, pull, pull the mats, get them cleaned up, ready to go. For the wintertime and the summertime, you should have your HVAC unit serviced. Uh, oftentimes the furnace will sit six to ten months without being fired. If there's a catalytic converter broken or something like that, you could have a carbon monoxide leak in your home, which could lead to a major CO poisoning. Pretty easy to do. Make sure your carbon monoxide tester is fresh batteries. Now this is an oldie in it, but still a goodie is ice damming. Ice damming what does is happen. That? So that's a great question. So ice damming is the process of when it snows, it melts into a shaded area and ice starts to build up on the shingles. What actually happens is the ice will carve, come up underneath the shingles and pry them off the roof and get into the roof or the attic space. So it gets to be a little bit of interesting because it not only tears the shingles off the roof, but it can break rain gutters off. We've had claims where icicles have fallen off the roof and landed on cars or people. And lastly, the ice, once it gets inside the house, will cause water damage in the attic space that you typically won't see for months or even years. I think one of the last ones that I remembered us just talking about is, is landscaping and, and yep. water drainage specifically. So what should we be doing there? A great tip that we see oftentimes happen is in the summertime, we're all working on our yard. We wanna make it look beautiful, but we may not pay attention to how the, the landscaping is grading away from our home. So we wanna have that landscaping going away. So any water or drainage coming off the roof when the snow melts in the spring or when we get rain like we have right now, we want to make sure that that water is draining away from the foundation walls. The biggest cause of the issue that shows up for us is in the insurance world, those are considered a flood. It's groundwater infiltrating the home. So most homeowners don't have insurance to cover that. So they're out of pocket for those expenses. If the water comes through the foundation, it'll damage sheetrock carpet. It will also typically cause mold because we won't find it in time. Winterize your sprinkler systems would be the one thing that I would say to do. Make sure you hire a professional to blow them out with an air compressor, get all the water out of those sprinkler systems so you don't have an issue in the spring. A sprinkler system is kind of that questionable area. If we have water damage from a sprinkler system in a home, some carriers will, some carriers won't cover that damage into the home. It can get pretty complicated and an ounce of prevention is a heck of a lot better than fighting with an insurance company. Absolutely. Well, awesome tips that you've shared with us. Um, go out there, activate on these. That way you do not fall in that trap of, of going through some of these winter disasters. And like anything, if you have any um, real estate questions and or needs, feel free to call, text, or email us. We're happy to help.